Welcome back to the channel. It's Carmiel Marceline and I am so excited for you to be here. If you are new to the channel, I talk about so many different things, so many different hobbies like plants. And if you aren't subscribed, what are you doing? Please join the family, hit the subscribe button, get notified every single time I post because it's going to be a fun one. And without further ado, today we are talking about 10 things I absolutely cannot live without. Plant edition. So let's get into it. First up, we've got my amazing, I believe it's called a Haas watering can, but it's, it's one little quart. It's super cute, if you can tell. And what I love most about this is it has a removable nozzle up here. So this usually, the stream is, I don't know how to explain it. It's not one stream, it's like multiple. <laughs> if you know what that means, let me know <laughs> down below. But you can actually remove it so it's just one solid stream. And what is great about it is I am lazy sometimes. So this makes it super easy to finish my watering if I am running out of time in the morning, which seems to happen quite frequently for me, but that's okay. I, I love it because it's also very compact, especially living in New York City, and I have zero space to store anything. So 10 out of 10 recommend. I bought previously larger like gallon ones, and I also am not strong, so being able to carry that across my apartment to all my plants is not the most ideal. It's also really pretty. I had it in a different color, but I like the cream better. Mm. Number two, we've got this plastic bowl. Okay, hear me out. This may seem really trivial, but for plants, it is amazing. I use it for top watering, bottom watering, repotting, propagating, anything plant related and I have a couple of these so I just stack them so very very portable. I got these honestly I don't even know I got these at a hardware store down the block from me and they're pretty inexpensive. I'm sure you can get them online, your garden store or what have you but it's perfect because it's also just tall enough I want to put a whole bunch of plants in here and it just contains any mess I have because like any plant parent knows, when you're repotting something or propagating something in sphagnum moss, everything gets everywhere. So these are perfect for me. Number three, my moisture meter. This is a godsend of a tool for me. I use it every day, multiple times a day. And it is perfect because it tells you what moisture level your soil is. So is your soil dry? Is it moist or is it wet? Because oftentimes the common way of killing your plant is by over or under watering. So this enables me to not make any silly mistakes. It's also extra long because some of my plants are ginormous, like this bird of paradise over here where it's in a planter that's like 20 inches in diameter, so it needs to go deep enough into that pot. So 10 out of 10, recommend a moisture meter if you don't have it already. What are you doing? Go order one, because they're super helpful. Number four is my amazing mister. This is from the brand Seg Beauty. I believe it's actually for haircuts. But what I love about it is the fact that the mist is super fine. I don't know if you can, you can see this in the camera, but in front of me, it's like, woo! It's not like droplets of water that sometimes when you have a mister, which is actually not good if you're spraying the plant because you can get mold that way. And I use this primarily in the winter because it's super arid. It's not humid in my apartment because of how cold it is. So this adds a little bit of fun moisture into the air. It's also great because when I propagate with lica or sphagnum moss, that also gets dry and I can just spritz it like this and it's completely wet again, which is great. I don't have to bring it with me over to my sink to end up pre-wetting, so it's also very convenient. Number five is my plant 
shears. These I just upgraded. <laughs> I know, like you can upgrade on plant shears, yes. I have the Fisk, Fiskars, I can't pronounce it, that I just got from Home Depot one day and they were so dull, it made it hard to cut like, my Bird of Paradise or even my Fiddle Leaf Fig. So I wanted to treat myself. So I got these from Amazon, I think they're from Japan, but they are very, very sharp. <laughs> Uh, and it's super great because it's got a locking mechanism over here. I think most of them actually do, but it's the perfect size for my hand. It's really sharp, helps me when I am cutting off dead leaves or I'm trying to propagate. Just makes it very clean and simple. I don't have to try cutting the same spot over and over again. These are very sharp. I accidentally cut myself when I was cleaning it one time with an alcohol wipe. So you want to be very, very careful if you do buy these. Number six, neem oil. <laughs> this is from Captain Jack's. You can get it off Amazon, you can get it from your local nursery or hardware store, to be honest. Neem oil is actually a vegetable oil. It comes from the seeds and the leaves of a neem tree. And what's great about neem oil is that it's organic. There's something about what's in neem oil that reduces insects from reproducing, slash it reduces like their food supply, which if you have house plants, you know the struggle. So what I actually do every single month to be super proactive with pest control is I will spray this neem oil onto a microfiber cloth and and wipe the front and the back of all of my leaves. And this has done an amazing job with keeping my pests at bay. And I'm proud to say, knock on wood, if I had wood near me, I would. I've never had any pests. So this is, minus fungus gnats, but I don't really count those. So this has helped me do that. So if you don't have neem oil, get it right now. <laughs> Number seven, little piece of technology. It's called the Catchy. I got it off Amazon. <laughs> and like the name suggests, it catches stuff. So how it works is it has a, a blue light over here that attracts any flying insects. So it could be mosquitoes. I use it primarily for fungus gnats. And it actually has a fan inside here. So it kind of sucks them down into a chamber in here where there's a sticky trap. All the fungus gnat can get caught. I love using this inside my plant greenhouse cabinet because it's very easy for fungus gnats to spread. So if you're able to curb the adult population as much as possible and as quickly, it'll help you in the long run. So love this so much. I bought another one of them, so I have two. <laughs> Oftentimes I get more fungus gnats in the summer. So right now I'm not using them, but once it becomes warmer out, Side, you bet these are going to be turned on 24 7. Number eight is this propagation box. I got this from Amazon. What I love about it is it's got little air vents, which you can kind of see here, that you can turn to close or keep it open, which helps with air circulation. It also comes with these. Let me try and take it out. Oh, sorry, I have a plant in here from one of my other videos that is having transplant shock. <laughs> it's not looking very hot, but it comes with these different panels that you can connect to each other. So you can create different layers. So if you want your propagation box to be higher, which you can kind of see here, like this is another piece and then this down here is another piece. This is perfect, let's say, if you have a plant like this one that I just bought from a store in my rare plant video. If you haven't seen that yet, we'll link it so you can, you can see that down below. If I don't wanna put my plants next to my existing collection, because I don't wanna infect them with pests in case this has it. I can easily put it inside my propagation box and keep it away. Also contains humidity because if I left this out air in regular room temp air, it's probably not gonna do that well. I mean, right now it's not doing that well, but we can look beyond that. <laughs> but anyway, I love this propagation box. I have two of them and they just make acclimating plants and propagating plants super easy for me. Number nine, a heating mint. This is perfect 
because I bought these last fall. I got one and I loved it so much that I got two. And if you're in a place where there is winter, like New York City, it gets cold. It gets like 20 degrees Fahrenheit, which I don't know what that is in Celsius, can't help you there, but that's cold. I don't do cold weather. And I increased the number of rare plants in my collection this year, so I wanted to make sure that everything was at a good temperature, nothing was getting shock from cold weather. So I actually put this in the plant greenhouse cabinet closest to my bedroom window where there is a draft, unfortunately. I mean, the perks of having like 20 foot windows, right? It's done a great job with keeping my plants really happy. Secondly, if you wanna germinate seeds or root any plant cuttings, if you put this underneath your tray, your propagation box, like the previous one I showed you, it'll keep the temperature at a good between 73 to 77 degrees Fahrenheit, which is ideal for rooting plants. Number 10. This cute little mug, <laughs> it says plant lady and it looks like a terracotta planter. Not necessarily needed for watering plants, but for watering your spirit. I love this, it's so cute. I actually got it from Etsy, so I'll link it down below the Etsy shop I got it from. But it, this was a little gift for myself and I use it for my morning ritual of having a latte. It's the cutest thing and reminds me of all my plants. So if you wanna give this to your fellow plant lady, do it. There you have it. Those are the 10 things that I could not live without. I mean, I, I could live without them, but I wouldn't want to because they add so much value to my life and they make my life so much easier when I'm watering and tending to my plant. If you liked today's video, hit that like button, please do so. If you wanna see more of these videos, hit that subscribe button. I know I mentioned that to you earlier in this video, but what are you doing? Come on, join the fam. And lastly, if you have ideas for more videos that you wanna see, comment down below. And with that, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Thank you so much for spending it with moi. And I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye.